Welcome, this is CG Professor. Today, we are going to make this delicious candy jar filling animation. Let's hop in Blender and create a cylinder. Decrease its vertices to 18 and depth to 0.6. Now bevel its top and bottom edges and have four segments. Shade smooth it and move it aside. Now, let's add in a mesh circle and extrude it in Z axis. Select its bottom edges and then press F to fill it. Bevel it and add four segments. Add an edge loop and move it up. Select the top faces and extrude them out. Add a bevel modifier and apply it. Add a subdivision modifier of 1 and apply it. Add a solidify modifier, set its thickness to 0.12 and apply it. Now, make a cube and add a subdivision modifier to it of 2 and apply it. Scale it up and apply the scale to the cube and to the cylinder also. Then select the candy first and then the cube, and Ctrl P to parent it and keep transform. Then go to the cube's object properties and an enable instancing. Select faces. Also check scale by face size and scale them properly. Then, set those candies on top of the jar properly. Then select them and press F3 and search for Make Instance Real. You can delete the cube and the original candy now. Now create a cylinder and move it up. Delete its top and bottom faces and create a funnel from it. Add in a solidify modifier to it with thickness of 0.5 and apply it. Add in a subdivision modifier to it of 1 and apply it. Apply the scale. Now select the jar and add in rigid body. Set type to passive, collision to mesh and sensitivity to 0 0.004. Repeat this for funnel. Now select one of the candies and add rigid body to it. Set its type to active, collision to mesh and sensitivity to 0 0.004. Now select all the candies and select the candy with rigid body at the last and hit F3. And search for copy rigid body from active. This will copy the same settings to all the selected objects, a huge time saver. Now let's move the candies and the funnel up. And create a plane for the floor. Subdivide it four times. Add rigid body, set it to passive, collision to mesh and sensitivity to 0 0.004. Go to the scene tab and into the rigid body world and cache the simulation. Great. Let's quickly set up the camera and the lights.
Drop in a comment if you liked the video or have any ideas for my next video. I always read my comments. Now, the materials. Go to the shading tab and create a new material and name it Candy. I will be using Node Wrangler. Go to Preferences, Add-ons, search for the Node Wrangler and enable it. Now, let's drop in a gradient texture and set it to Radial, press Ctrl Shift and click on it to preview it. Press Ctrl T. Copy the gradient texture and set it to Spherical. Connect Object to Mapping. Add in a math node and set to multiply. Connect gradient texture to the multiply. Add in a combine XYZ node and connect multiply to Z. Connect combine XYZ to rotation. Type 2 and multiply. Add two math nodes after the gradient texture. Set first to multiply, value to 12. Set second to fraction. Now connect object to gradient texture that will add in the swirls. Add in color ramp. Delete the black one and create another white color and push it to the corner. Add in red color in the middle. Add two less saturated red colors close to it from both sides. Now create a noise texture. Press Ctrl T and delete the mapping to and connect object to noise texture. Set scale of noise texture to 2, detail to 15. Add a bump node connect noise texture to its height, set height to 0.1. Connect it to the normal of principled BSDF. Connect color ramp to base color. Set roughness to 0.2. Subdivision surface to 0.3 and color to less saturated red. For the jar create a new material and name it glass jar. Add in glass BSDF and connect it to the surface and set the roughness to 0.1. Create a new material for the ground and make it a dark gray. Select the plane and hop in the edit mode, select the side edge and extrude them along the z-axis. Bevel them with few segments and shade smooth it. Select the jar and add in a subdivision surface to it. I will set the frame rate to 25 and render out the video. And that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you learned something valuable today. Have a nice day.